Welcome to the Band Answer Studio. Today, I want to show you how to create this freestanding three-dimensional link heart balloon display. You don't need any stands for this design, and I'll start off by inflating 76 of these 12-inch gold link balloons, two at a time, and then using a sizer box, size all of them to eight inches in diameter. So press the balloon against the eight-inch hole and slowly let air out of that balloon until it just fits through. Do the exact same thing with the second balloon, and then we're going to take these two two 8-inch diameter balloons and tie them into a pair by wrapping the nozzles around twice and tying them together in a simple knot. Now once all of our gold link balloons are inflated and tied into pairs, I'm going to take two of those pairs and tie them end to end using the tails that are on the opposite side of the balloons. So take one tail from each of those pairs and tie it together in a double knot and this will give us a chain of four balloons all tied end to end. Now I'm going to take a another pair and tie the tail ends of that pair to the tail end of my chain of four. And then I'm going to repeat this process until I have 22 link balloons all tied end to end, and then take the first balloon and the last balloon of that chain and tie them together. This will create one large loop of 22 link balloons. For the heart, you're going to need two of these large loops of 22 balloons and two smaller loops of 16 link balloons. Next, we're going to arrange the loops on the floor so that one small loop is sitting inside one larger loop. Then directly on top of that, we're going to set the second large loop on top of the first one and the second small loop directly on top of the small loop that's on the floor. These loops will want to shimmy around, so I'm going to secure all four of them together in this orientation with a short set of four link balloons in white that have inflated to eight inches in diameter, tied end to end, and now I'm going to wrap these white balloons around all four of my gold loops, capturing those four rings together inside this white strand of balloons. Bring the two ends of this white strand together and tie the tail ends of the first and last white balloon together, creating a ring. Next, I'm going to arrange the white balloons so that one white balloon sits between each of the gold rings. So press that white balloon in, making sure the nozzles of the white balloons are touching the nozzles between two gold balloons. Secure this joint with a pair of 5-inch white balloons inflated to 3.5 inches in diameter. Slip one of those balloons in the pair behind one gold and one white balloon and then bring it back up to the front so that all those nozzles are sitting between these two tiny balloons, twist them around each other, and that will secure this joint in place. Everywhere the nozzles of a white balloon cross the nozzles of our gold loops, that's where we're going to add in these tiny balloon pairs to secure those joints together. In total, I'll attach four balloon pairs to complete this one white section. From this angle, you can see that the white link balloons are separating the gold loops from each other, and the white balloons form a square if you look at it from the side. This is what will give our heart rigidity and allow it to freestand without any support. I'm going to repeat these steps with another four white link section and attach this one to my gold rings right next to the first white section so that there's only one gold balloon between each white section. I'm going to repeat these steps until I have four white sections in a row separated by a single gold balloon. This will create one of the straight sides of our heart. Now we need to start curving the balloons to make the first lobe of our heart. So you're going to take one more set of four balloons, wrap it around all of the gold rings, tie those tail ends together. But for this one, you're only going to take your tiny balloon pairs and tie them around the joints on the outside edge of the heart. Because on the front surface of the heart, we're going to create a V shape and share that innermost balloon. So take a strand of three white balloons and tie the tail end of that short strand to the nozzles that are making up that inside corner of the heart. Slip these balloons between the gold balloons just like you normally would and then tie the tail end of that last white balloon to the nozzles on the lower inside edge of the heart so that these two white sections share a single white balloon on the inside edge of the heart. And that's what will expand the outer edge of the heart but keep the inner edge smaller and create that curve. Finish off this section by tying tiny balloon pairs over any of the remaining joints, including those inner joints where there'll be one pair at the top and one pair at the bottom. 
To make the first lobe of the heart, you're going to need three of these V sections. So you're going to add a four link white section, tie on your three link again to create a V, secure all the joints, and keep doing that until you've got three Vs to make up that first curve. Now we need to make the upper point of the heart. So this is basically the opposite maneuver. We need to expand the inner side of the heart and shrink the outer side. So take a four white link section, tie it around all of the gold balloons just like you normally would. But for this V, we're going to make it extreme and jump over two balloons instead of one. So take a three link section and tie the end of it to the top outside edge of the heart and then we're going to take the next nozzle section and make a joint on the inside edge of the heart two balloons down. And that is what will create the point section. So now you're going to take the rest of those white balloons and bring them back down to where our four balloon section meets on the outside edge and tie that nozzle in. Now it's important to remember that the front side of the heart should look exactly like the back side of the heart. So everything you're seeing me do on the top side here, the back looks exactly the same. Now once I've secured all of the joints that I just tied in, we need to add a single balloon to create that point. To do this, you're going to take the nozzle and the tail of one white balloon and tie it in between the two gold balloons that don't have any white balloons already tied to it. You'll do this on both the front and the back side of the heart so that that single white balloon makes a nice crisp point on the inside of our heart. On each of those joints that we just created, don't forget to add your tiny balloon pairs as this will add more structure and give the heart a consistent look all the way around. I know this is a ton of details in a short video to show you how to make this heart, so if you would like an in-depth walkthrough of how to create this heart, I have a set of written plans available in the description box below that will walk you step by step through the entire heart with full color illustrations showing you lots of different angles so you can successfully make this heart again and again. From the upper point of the heart, we're going to do three more V-sections to expand the outside edge of the heart and making that second lobe. And then we're going to add three straight sections to create that final side of the heart. Now when it comes down to the lower point of the heart, we need to make another one of those extreme V's like we did at the top point. Take a three-link strand and attach it to the inner side of the heart, right where we attached our first link strand. Now you're going to skip two balloons balloons on the outside edge and wrap that white link on the left side of those two balloons and join it at the bottom. Secure those joints with tiny balloon pairs and then add a single white link balloon in those last two joints of our outer gold rings. Tie them with a double knot, secure them with two tiny little pairs, and now I can tilt this heart upright to stand on that outside edge and it has enough rigidity to stand up on its own. This is a great interactive prop for a party or event, and I hope that you'll give this a try. So until the next time, remember, stay creative everybody!